As Kurds integrate into their new communities, many important parts of their cultural legacy have been forgotten. Kurdish women like Zamrid and Zakia are determined to tell the traditions by attempting to pass the legacy on. Not only because they enjoy weaving, but also they find comfort in telling the stories that each craft holds. Zemrid has dedicated a room to the Kurdish handicrafts and continues to weave. The room is filled with handmade items anywhere from socks, purses, barzines, hats, shoes, rugs, and various house decorations. <laughs> While in the refugee camp in Turkey, people like Zemrid relied on their weaving talents to survive. They would turn something as simple as a potato sack into new purses and exchange it for food with the Turks. Zemri finds joy in keeping the tradition of passing the legacy on for future generations. She recalls how she would carry her child in the traditional barzink and walk as far as Nashville to Kentucky to get medical help for her children. This was often the story of many Kurdish villagers. Zakia oftentimes makes the dukhin or men's belt inspired by the Kurdish flag colors and half-length leggings used by men when traveling into the cold mountainous region in Kurdistan. <laughs> Zakia spends much of her time teaching her children and grandkids the art of Kurdish handicrafts, textile and weaving. As I struggled to make the Kurdish dukhin, I immediately realized how difficult it was to keep up with the patterns. And my mother tells me that my fingers are made for a pen and not a dukhin. I passed it, yay! 
Sumeya has been inspired by her grandmother's art and is determined to carry the legacy. Will Zekia and Zemrid's dream of passing the legacy that is filled with history be carried by future Kurdish generations is the question that it remains. Ah. <laughs>